Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a video for my little scrapbook store and I'm using the brand new Coco Vanilla Studio Midnight Collection. I'm so excited. So this video was filmed or this layout was filmed at my scrapbooking retreat this past weekend and so there are a lot of shadows. I did not have my studio lights with me. Um, but the lighting actually isn't terrible. Um, the only thing is the shadows. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by saying I apologize for that. Um, but I did not want to create all of these layouts and not film them for you guys. So I did six layouts at my retreat and I filmed three. So not too bad. Um, so the first thing that I'm doing is I trimmed down that navy blue cardstock and put it on the floral. Now off camera, it took me a while to pick my papers um, and I finally came down to these two and I just left a border on two sides. That was my um, friend Miranda's idea. She was there. You'll see her hands in this layout quite a few times, I think. Um, she helped me. I was trying to use the stencil this is her stencil and i was trying to make it where it would look like the two flowers were layered on top of each other and so i do you know struggle with it for a little while but i end up getting it in the end it's just it takes a little bit of time and moving the stencil around and moving the washi tape um and uh she's just trying to help me get it where I need it. And I'm using black gesso. Um, and I'm also using a foam blending tool, one of the Tim Holtz blending tools. Now, if you're going to use this with your paint, it does, once it dries on there, you really pretty much can't use it again. So if that is something that you're, you know, worried about, then you might want to take it off and clean it, but I've never done that. So I'm not sure how that would work, but I use black gesso and it's really, really matte, which is really nice. So this photo is from this past, I think, spring when we went to Roanoke, Virginia for a thing for my husband and we went to an art museum and I had never been in an actual art museum. And so it was a lot of fun. Um, and this photo is of one of the arts on the wall, one of the art pieces on the wall, and it was gorgeous. Um, it's this butterfly made out of little tiny, like 10 butterflies, but it's popped off the wall and they're super, super thin and they're matte black. It's just really, really pretty. So, and my daughter is kind of standing just underneath it. And I just thought it was a beautiful picture, a beautiful piece of art, and a beautiful little girl. <laughs> so I am going to, I pulled out the ephemera or the die cuts, and I'm going to pull out the chipboard, and I'm just going to play around until I find the elements that I think works best. Um, I think you guys know, if you've been following me for a little while, that I don't like to over embellish. I really like the focus to be on the photo. Um, and that's what I'm going to do here. So I'm trying to look for a flower or one of the floral pieces that isn't too big and not too small. I kind of wanted it to be the same size as the one at the top of the photo. Um, so I think that I do find, yes, I found one and then I have some leaves coming out from those as well. And, um, then I'm going to pull out some, of the chipboard, which I really, really enjoyed. Um, I liked working with it. It's really, really nice chipboard. It does not have adhesive on it, which is actually, I like that, um, because you can move it around and it's not attached to this big piece, which is normally how chipboard is. Um, I kind of really enjoyed working with it um, in a package like ephemera. So I'm going to use the banner at the top right, which is from the chipboard pieces. And then I'm also going to use the chipboard title moments. Um, I really wanted to use the beautiful, but it just wasn't working. It was too big, um, for the place that I wanted the moments. And so I'm actually going to pull out some thickers from my stash and they're just sorry there's a truck driving by it's kind of loud um i'm just pulling out some foam black thickers from my stash they're kind of short and 
um, stubby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. Um, they're not like tall and skinny. They're short and stubby. That's the words that I'm going to use for today. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm going to start gluing things down so I don't lose the place of things. And I'm using my fine line bottle. You guys can head over to my little scrapbook store and check out the shop. Um, she, I believe, has the midnight on her second pre-order I believe so if not she might already have it up there in the shop you might just need to go check that out um, and see what she's got but she's also got some other great collections and I will have her shop linked below as well as her Facebook page um, where you can watch her live sales and um, interact with her on the live sales she also has a um, bingo thing kind of it's really really looks fun coming up but you can just look on her website um, and her Facebook page for all that information because I don't want to say anything wrong um, so lots of fun things happening over there so I did pull out the clear stickers but I actually do not end up using any of the clear stickers um, so the title is going to be beautiful moments and I'm going to spell beautiful out with those black stickers and on camera you cannot see it very well because it is the dark navy blue um, background paper but I think it in person you can see it quite well um, so that's what I'm doing right now and I believe that I am going to move everything over I think I didn't have it yeah I didn't have it over far enough and so I'm just going to go ahead and start moving that back um, over because I want to make sure that it all fits on the layout um, and nothing's like dangling off <laughs> the side so let's see yeah beautiful moments and then I'm going to pull out some more of the chipboard pieces and I'm going to pull out some of the chipboard hearts I love hearts <laughs> They're like my favorite little embellishments. Flowers and hearts are so easy for me to use. Um, and I'm also going to pull out some of the word phrases. Um, and I'm going to put the hearts in a couple different places on this layout. I'm going to put three of them kind of right above the title. And then I'm going to put two over at the top left hand side of the layout. And when I do put the two hearts over on the left hand top side, um, I am also going to use some of those tiny word phrases. And I kind of made my own little thing. Um, I, I put my darling remember this little moment. So the word phrase sticker said little moments and I just cut off the S and I kind of just made them flow together and that's the great thing about embellishments you can make them work for you you can cut them you can you know make them work for you make the piece work for you and your layout and what you're using it for so once I get the little pieces up at the top left hand corner I that is going to be it for this layout I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. Don't forget to head over to my little scrapbook store and check out the shop and uh, Michelle's Facebook page. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that y'all have an amazing day. Bye.